In the last video, we took a look at loading different views into a Flex mobile application. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to transfer some data between those views. Now, the thing to remember here is, for the most part, data gets destroyed when you load a new view. So what you have to do is package this data and send it along to the view that you're loading. There are other ways around this. We're not going to cover those in this video. They're a little more advanced, but we're just going to show you some basic ways to move some data around with multiple views. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got the two views here in my application already. We have the default, the first view here with a couple of uh, text input boxes and a button and just a couple of labels. And the second view is just got a couple of labels and a back button. And what we're going to do is the data that we input into those two text boxes from the first view, we're going to package that up and send it over to this view when it loads and populate these two labels. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already given everything some ID names. Give show you here we've got IMP box one and IMP box two. And then for the button I just have BTN submit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead here and generate an event handler for this. And we'll just say we'll call this handle click just for simplicity purposes. And so what we need to do is when we pass this data to the second view, you pass it an object. So we're going to create a temporary object here of type object. Obviously it's going to be a new object. And then we're going to set some properties of this object using the values of the text boxes. So what we're going to do is we'll say TMP OBJ and we'll say, let's call this one first name. And we're going to say that it's equal to INP box one dot text because it's the text property that we want to access there and store. And I'm going to do the same thing here again. We'll do TMP OBJ dot website. Let's make this website like that just so we can see it easily. And we'll call this one here input box two. Again, we want the text property like so. And now the remaining thing we need to do is to load that view. So we need to go here and we say navigator and we're going to tell it to push the view, which is going to be second view. And we're going to send it here another property, which is now going to be TMP OBJ, that temporary object that we've created there. I feel like a sort of a pseudo value object, I guess. And that's that. So now let's go over to the second view and go into source code here. Now what happens when the view that's loading receives this data, it re receives it via the name of data is the name of the object. So what we can do is bind to that here. So I'm going to take these text labels, you can use a binding expression, and I'm just going to say data dot first name. And then for the other one here, we'll do the same thing again. We'll say data dot website and we'll save that. So that's our coding there. Let's run this and see what happens. So I'm going to put in a name here of Peter and I'll put in my website www.uibuzz.com. I'm going to hit submit. It's going to load the view and at the same time it sends across the data which is loaded into those two labels. So there you go. That's how simple it is to do. There are other ways to do this and there's ways that you can make data persistent within the application. But if you only really need the data like this for particular views for performance and memory purposes and that kind of thing, it's best to just have laying around in memory what you need to use. So this is how I go about doing this. I just pass around the data that I need. And then when I load another view, if I don't need something anymore and I don't pass it along, it's just disposed of and it keeps the application happy. So I hope this helped. Go to www.uibuzz.com for some more videos and we, there will be more videos covering this mobile subject as we go forward. Thank you.